I had a cooling system leak in my 2000 Taurus and I couldn't really determine where it was coming from so I decided to try to use a radiator pressure test tester. Uh, then I started to look around at the units and they were all kind of pricey, even the one from Harbor Freight. So I decided to make one and I had all the parts on hand to do that uh, except for the cap. So I had to buy a new coolant recovery tank cap which was about $7 at Advance Auto Parts. So I have a quarter inch nipple here, uh, the T, uh, a pressure gauge, and I have a, a valve here, on a valve. And then this is the male connector for the uh, compressor hose. Now you don't have to use a gauge. You can use the gauge on your uh, compressor to set an upper limit, but I wanted to um, monitor it uh, closely so I didn't apply too much pressure. And you can also regulate it with your valve. Um, and then the other part of putting this together is there is the pressure relief mechanism, which is usually housed right in here and it consists of a little metal plate like this and there's a spring and, and a couple other parts so it's held in in place by plastic and uh, i drilled that out with a large diameter spade wood bit uh, and then filled it in with epoxy putty you have to fill this in because there are uh, vent channels in here that allow the uh, pressure to escape when the coolant tank uh, exceeds the pressure limit of the cap so you make sure that you have to fill this in otherwise this won't work um, so then I, I just put it on my coolant recovery tank and connected the compressor hose and applied pressure to it and it showed me exactly where the leak was so uh, it worked great I didn't have to spend all that money for uh, for one and um, you know I hope this is helpful thank you